All right, if you're like me and you need to replace one of these because you decided to remodel your bathroom and you left it dry too long so the seals in this collar right here decided to give. So you plugged it in, you're all happy about it and then you walk away for the day. You come back the next day and it's just drenched in water and you have to, now you have a warped vanity. Anyways, so this is for the uh, flow tight pulled clothes valve. So these are pretty crappy manufactured because it's one piece. It's just one piece. I called my standard plumbing guy and he said that he only had a 12 inch one. I called like three or four in the rest of the valley and they only had they only had one or two. So the first thing to do to here is to make sure that you turn off your water. And then you need to go, if you have two, if you have more than one floor, you need to go open up the other valves and put all the water drain out before you try this. Otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of water shoot out at you. And you don't want that. So. Mine has a little bit of water left, not too much. I drained most of it, so should be good there. Shouldn't have much water. Okay, so how to take this off? Get one of these. You can get this is just a pipe cutter. You can get it at a. I bought mine at Lowe's, like ten bucks or something like that. So you open it up. Get it so you can get it wide enough to fit on there. Mine's Irwin. I don't know, whatever you want to get, but. Get it on there. Okay. And then, if you're not familiar how these work, you tighten it. Give it a few spins. Tighten a little bit more. Okay, so broke through the back half. Yeah, that just snapped right off. See? That's so much easier than trying to pull that off. If you just try and pull it off, you're gonna damage your pipe and you're not gonna be able to reuse it. So pop that seal off. This is where it starts getting a little hairy, so that piece comes off, do you see that? That's that knife thing that fuck up your, it'll mess up your uh, your tube. So, what you do, get some tin snips, bought mine from Lowe's. So you just snip that right off. It's a little flimsy collar, so it's really not much, but enough damage your pipe you don't want to buy a new one or risk not having enough put this on see that no so there's like three in total underneath this Go. 
Now this is actually not bad at all. I'm taking this off because I'm going to replace it later. all the other stuff. Okay, now you're ready to replace it. So, I got shark bite. Shark bite, one and a half by three eighths. Okay, so. I mean, it says the instructions on the back, so it's really not that like difficult to do by any means you just push it on there really and then it bites on the same technology that the other one had however um let me put that part on first or after but yeah so i'm gonna try where your tube wants to go so i got this one and then this has the little flange part that you can do a compression fitting and make your own tube but i just bought pre-made tube so if you get the um if you get the, the three eighths and then you get this one that's a three eighths you can easily just put this on here and you don't have to make your own tube you just buy it i think they're like five bucks but anyways so yeah there's markings on there all right so i believe this goes in about i think there's even a line on here about how far it goes in but anyways this little plastic piece goes on the inside of the diet inside of the, the ring and then this goes on the outside and it has seals in there so it won't leak however i'm not risking any leaking so i just put in brand new flooring so i was talking to this uh old plumber guy and he said if you want to do this you can so back at it. Gotta get this dang tab off. Ooh, watch out. Don't wanna get that. Don't wanna get that on the new flooring. Beat the purpose. Okay. Put some primer on there. So the reason I'm doing this is because just in case this um, just in case these cracks cause a problem with the seal on the shark bite, this will really seal it in, so there won't be a problem. And the cement. but I'm cleaning it up. Okay, there's that shit stuff. Okay, here we go. Shark bite. Ooh, aha. Here we go. Technology. This just goes in here. Set this down. So you need both hands. Damage this. I don't put too much pressure on it, but if you don't have another option, you can use these. Probably wrapping a rag or something to make it so there's no scarring on it. 
Anyways, that is it. Now it says you can hold it for 30 seconds, you know, the cement does, but she should dry. That should be it. After it's all said and done. Felix. <laughs>